For the first half of its life, the 11th generation Chevrolet Suburban dominated the three-row SUV segment. The second half of that time wasn't quite so great as the Ford Expedition came along to give it a good fight. The new Suburban and its little brother, the Tahoe, are here to level the playing field. These new SUVs borrow heavily from their pickup truck counterparts. Both the Tahoe and Suburban will be available with the choice of a 5.3 liter V8, a 6.2 liter V8, or, interestingly, a 3 liter turbo diesel straight six. The move should give customers a broader range of options than the single powertrain Expedition line. Each engine works alongside a 10 speed automatic. But while the engines are familiar, the suspension is all new. In a segment first, Chevy will offer the Suburban and Tahoe with an optional air suspension that improves both comfort and towing ability. Combined with magnetic dampers, the Chevy Twins should have better ride quality than any SUV outside the premium space. As for the passengers, they'll enjoy a screen-intensive cabin with up to five displays, while their gear sits in a cargo hold that Chevy says is the largest in the segment. That's largely down to the overall size increases. The Tahoe especially is bigger, with an additional 4.7 inches between the axles and 6.7 inches in overall length. That bigger body adopts familiar design language. The Tahoe and Suburban borrow heavily, for better or worse, from the Silverado pickup truck. We like this implementation more though. It's cleaner and the overall look is better balanced by the SUV's two box shape. That said, the taillights and the quad tipped exhaust on some models remind us a bit too much of the Ford Explorer. Chevrolet hasn't announced pricing yet for its new Suburban and Tahoe, but we're expecting modest increases over its predecessors. That said, for the number of improvements to these vehicles, we expect that to be an okay thing for most consumers. Look for more on these vehicles as their mid-2020 on-sale date approaches.